Hello, welcome to lesson 12 of Additional Maths. Today we're going to be looking at regions defined by inequalities. Okay, this is an overlap with the GCC course, um, but we're going to take you slightly beyond it and, and in the next lesson use this information to be able to uh, solve problems involving optimization um, of, you know, a company has various constraints and then what is it allowed to do? And so what is its maximum um, output based on these constraints? Okay, so we need these skills um, to be able to draw regions on a graph defined by inequalities in order to be able to solve those types of problems. Okay, so before I go through this first example, I just wanna talk through what to do in order to show a region defined by an inequality, okay? So if I wanted to show the region defined by an inequality, 2x plus 5y is less than 10. What that means is I want to show all the points on a graph where this is true, where if I doubled the x-coordinate and added five lots of the y-coordinate, it would be less than 10, okay? The way to do this is to Find the points on the graph where the 2x plus 5y is equal to 10. And that is a straight line. It's a linear graph on this grid where that's true. Okay, I could rearrange this into y equals mx plus c, but actually I'm going to use a little trick. All I need is two points on this graph, and then I know this the straight line goes between them. Okay. So what I do is I find the zero values the intercepts of the axes, okay? The value of y when x is zero, the value of x when y is zero, okay? And then I've got two coordinates, I draw my straight line through them. So here, if I make x zero, then two x is going to be zero. So I know that five y has to equal 10. And that happens when y is two. So when x is zero, y is two, and I've got a coordinate there. And then I do the same with y. I make y zero, so 5y will be zero. Therefore, 2x will equal 10, so x is five. So x is five when y is zero. There's another coordinate, okay? So I can now draw my straight line, okay? If I had a ruler, I would use it. That's, that's not bad. And that those are the points on which 2x plus 5y is equal to 10. What I want is I want to show the points where 2x plus 5y is less than 10, okay? So the way I do this is I usually look at a coordinate on one side of the line and decide, is that coordinate true for this inequality? And if so, everything on that side of the line will be true for that inequality. So. I'm gonna choose the, the simplest coordinate possible, zero, zero. I'm gonna look at the side below. I think it's gonna be all the points below this line where the two times the X plus five times Y is gonna be smaller than 10, because if I go this side, I'm gonna have very big numbers and I don't think that's gonna be smaller than 10. But I'll just choose one point, zero, zero. If I plug zero in, I'll get two lots of zero plus five lots of zero. That's zero plus zero. Is that smaller than 10? It is, hence. That is in the correct region, zero, zero. And so I want all the points on this side of the line, okay? Now, I don't want the line itself either. So if you have an inequality where it's just less than or just greater than, no equals, what you want is you want to show that the line is not included. And to do that, you erase parts of the line. In fact, you probably, don't draw the entire line first. You show it as a dotted line. A dotted line indicates that the line itself is not included in your region, okay? And you usually shade the side you want. However, when you get lots of inequalities, it's usually better to shade the side you do not want because it gets very messy if you shade lots of the sides you want and then what you want is, sh is shade the bit shaded four times. How can you tell that against the bit that's shaded three times, etc.? So I'm going to shade. I like, I prefer shading the part that I don't want. Okay, so I'm going to shade over here. That is what I don't want. And then I'm going to write R 
in the region that I do want. Okay, so the region I want is this side, and that is the feasible region, the region of allowed points. And so I'm going to call that R. So R shows me all the points which are true for this inequality. Okay, so it's everything on this side, on the R side of that dotted line, and it doesn't include the line itself. If I had an equal sign underneath the inequality, then I would draw a solid line and then the line itself would be included. OK, let's have a go at that with a few different inequalities and see what they combine to make. State the integer coordinates contained within the feasible region defined by the inequalities. So first thing I want to do is I want to draw the feasible region. Feasible region just means the region of feasible points. The, the feasible means the allowed values defined by these constraints. Okay, These constraints define different areas in the graph and together, combined, they will define one feasible region, one allowed region on the graph. Okay, So firstly, before I answer which of the integer coordinates contained within it, I want to find the feasible region. So first one I'm going to do is x is smaller than 3. So what I draw is I draw the line x equals 3. And because it's just a less than, there's no equals, it's going to be a dotted line. The line x equals 3 is this vertical line here going through 3. And since I want x is smaller than 3, all the coordinates to the left of this have an x coordinate smaller than 3. So like x is coordinate 2 over here, x is coordinate 1 over here. And everything to the right side is bigger than 3. So I don't want the right side. So I'm going to shade the right side because I do not want that side of the line. OK. Next, let's do y is greater than or equal to 0. OK. So y is greater than or equal to 0. I draw the line y equals 0. The line y equals 0 is a horizontal line which goes along the x-axis. Every point on the x-axis, the y-coordinate is 0. So y is greater than or equal to 0. I want a solid line at that point. So there's y equals 0, and it's solid. And I want the y-coordinate to be bigger than 0 or equal to it. So I want above that, so I do not want below that line. So I'm going to shade below that line. So I don't want that area. Next, y is less than x. y is less than x. Firstly, I draw the line y equals x, but as a dotted line. y equals x is this diagonal line here. OK, so I draw it dotted. And I want the y coordinate to be smaller than the x coordinate. So, for the y coordinate to be smaller than the x coordinate, I, I want to be on one of the sides of the line. I probably want this side of the line. Let me just check with one of the coordinates on this side of the line, on the below this line. So I'm going to choose the coordinate 2, 0 here. If I replace x with 2 and y with 0, I'll get 0 is less than 2. Is that true? Yes, it is. So that's the correct side of the line. So I want to get rid of this side of the line. I do not want this side of the line. OK, my last part, 3x plus 4y is less than or equal to 12. So here, I want to draw the line 3x plus 4y equals 12 as a solid line. Remember, when I'm drawing 3x plus 4y equals 12, I could rearrange it to make y equals, but it's much easier to find the zeros. So find the y-intercept and the x-intercept. So when x is 0, Okay, when x is 0, y would need to be 3 for this to be true, for 4y to equal 12. So y is 3 when x is 0. So 0, 3 is a coordinate on the graph. And when y is 0, x has to be 4. So there's another coordinate on the graph. So then I draw my straight line as a solid line ooh, through those two points. 
approximately. And there we have it. We have either this region above that line or this region below. We've got to decide. 3x plus 4 is less than or equal to 12. Well, it's probably going to be below this line if I have to. It has to be less than or equal to 12. I'm just going to choose a point below this line. Let's choose the point 2, 0 again, that point there. So if I plug 2 in as x, so that would be 6 for 3x. 0 in as y, that would be 0 for y. Is 6 plus 0 less than or equal to 12? Yes, it is. So that is the side I want. So I don't want this side of the line. So what I'm left with is the feasible region, which I'm going to label with a rainbow R. Okay, so that is the feasible region. Okay, next. My next thing, once I've got the feasible region, I want to find the integer coordinates which are contained within that feasible region. <clears throat> so, let's zoom in. Okay, I'm going to find all the coordinates and I'm going to make them, I'm going to highlight them with a black cross, um, all the coordinates which are within this feasible region. Okay, integer coordinates. So, if it's on a dotted line, it is not allowed. If it's on a solid line, it is allowed. And if it's clearly within the region, it is allowed. So zero, zero is on the edge of the region, but it's on this dotted line y, y, is, uh, y equals x. So it's not allowed. One, zero is allowed because it is in the region. It's on the edge of the region, but it's on a solid line. So it's allowed. Two, zero, similarly. Three, zero is on a solid line and it's on a dotted line. So it's not allowed. OK, this point is outside the region. This point is inside the region. So it's allowed. Two, one. <clears throat> and the only other integer coordinate which is on the edge is 1, 1, but that's on a dotted line, so that's not allowed. So there are only three integer coordinates which are within this region. Okay. So my solution for this is 1, 0, 2, 0, and 2, 1. Those are the possible integer coordinates that are allowed by those inequalities, by those constraints. Okay. Isn't that a beautiful graph? Right. It's your chance to have a go. I want you to state the integer coordinates which are contained within the feasible region defined by the following inequalities. Okay. First, x is greater than 1. Second, y is greater than or equal to 0. Third, y is less than 2x. And fourth, 5x plus 3y is less than or equal to 15. So pause the video, <clears throat> get a copy of a, a grid or just draw a grid on squared square paper. Uh, use a ruler and a pencil, I would. Um, have a go. You will make mistakes. That's fine. As long if you've done it in pencil, then you can rub it out. Um, and then check against the answer in a second. OK, so pause now. So the answer, x less than 1, sorry, x is greater than 1, is a dotted line. through x equals 1. And you want to the right side of that because you want x is greater than 1, so you don't want this side of the line. Next, y is greater than or equal to 0. For this, this is a solid line, and we want above that line, so we shade in that part. Next, y is less than 2x. We draw a dotted line of y equals 2x. And y equals 2x goes through at 0, has a gradient of 2, so it goes through these points that I'm showing. So you want a dotted line through those points. 
And then you want y is less than 2x, which is underneath that line, so you don't want this side. And lastly, 5x plus 3y is less than or equal to 15. So make them zeros. So if x is 0, then y has to be 5. So there's a coordinate there. If y is 0, then x has to be 3. So there's a coordinate there. You want this to be a solid line. So draw it as best you can. And you want 5x plus 3y is less than or equal to 15. So you want you want below that line. You check with 0, 0 as a coordinate, which is below that line. And 0, 0 will work. So you don't want this side of the line. So what you're left with is this lovely region in here, R, okay, which is a sort of uh, a quadrilateral with a base, a diagonal, diagonal, and then a left side. So it looks like it might be a triangle, but it's not, okay, because the um, the x is less than one, sort of x is greater than one, cuts that part off. Okay, so that's the region. Now we want the integer coordinates that are allowed by that region. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in. Integer coordinates are not that one because that's on a dotted line, the yellow line. That one is on a solid line only, so that's allowed. That one is on a solid line, so that's allowed. That one is within the region. Then <clears throat> We have that point is on a dotted line, this point is on a dotted line. So it's just those three coordinates. So your solutions, your set of solutions are two zero, three zero, and two one. So those are the integer coordinates that are allowed by the feasible region. If you got that right, well done. Now, go and have some fun with the exercise in chapter seven. I think it's the first exercise in chapter seven. So 7.1 from the textbook. The textbook is this wonderful textbook here. Exercise 7.1. I promise you, I do not have shares in this textbook. Um, so go and practice until you feel confident with this. And in the next lesson, we're gonna show how to apply this in um, optimization problems in what's called linear programming, where you have to optimize um, some value subject to certain constraints. Okay. And these inequalities are examples of constraints. You're constrained by them. For example, x is greater than one means that x cannot be um, one or below. So you're constrained by that. You need that value of x, whatever it is, okay, to be greater than one. So enjoy practicing and I'll see you in the next lesson.